What's up guys, it's Brandon here, and today I have a review of the 2012 Mercedes-Benz GL450. New for this GL, and you're probably going to notice it right away. And it is basically the new daytime running LED lamps, which are featured on the bottom. Um, also underneath the LEDs are these little sensors, they're called Parktronic sensors, and those will actually help you when you're trying to park your car in a spot uh, and you don't want it to bump into either the curb or maybe a bush. Okay, so coming to the front we have our classic emblem as well as the smaller emblem right up front or on top. Over here we have nice chrome fins and uh, they're on top of this grate which I guess helps with the heat um, with inside of the hood. And we also have our uh, washers for the dashboard or the windshield board down to the tires they are 19 inch five spoke alloy wheels so on the side of the vehicle I'll back up for you so you can see it better but we have rubber studded running boards running along the side and that's actually an option as well um, and before I didn't mention it but the chrome fins are part of the chrome package and you'll also with the chrome package get the chrome door handle insert um, on the running boards, we have LEDs, and I'll do a demonstration of those a little bit later. Um, that's also an option, and it's worth the price. So if you get this car, I recommend getting that. It makes the car look a whole lot nicer and adds to the value of your car. We have dual exhaust and also a trailer hitch, which is really nice. So we have a power lift gate, as well as a backup camera. I forgot to mention that, but... You can't really see it anyway, it kind of blends in. So with this, you can either just pull the whole tailgate down, and there's the backup camera, if you can see it. There it is. And um, if you want, you can actually stop it halfway. So you can press the button and then click it one more time, it'll stop in the middle, which is pretty cool. Um, and after it stops in the middle, you can have cargo stick out the back, whether it's lumber, wood, or whatever you want, so you're trying to bring something somewhere and you can't close the trunk all the way that's what you would do so in the back here we have on the right hand side we have a 50 50 split rear or third row seats and you control them from here we have a 150 watt household receptacle really good for charging computers um, basically anything you want as long as the car is on So those are your 50-50 split. So in here, this is where they put their spare. And they give you ample amount of space in here. So you could pretty much throw... Uh, we have our ice scraper here because winters in our state could get quite brutal. But yeah, dropper cables, anything you want in there. Nice little stowage, storage compartment. On the left-hand side, we have a 12-volt as well as our first aid. They give a very large first aid kit. Coming into the actual car, there is tons of space, lots of legroom, um, and those seats aren't even moved up uh, all the way. Um, you have a lot of legroom, I can tell you that right now. These carpets are standard, once again we do have our weather tech underneath just to protect the actual carpet, but um, those carpets do come with the car, and I'll move back just to show you what it looks like. Um, while I'm at it, we have our chrome bars that go across, and those are always chrome. You don't need the chrome package for that. It's just a pretty cool feature. So over here, this is just a pouch for the entertainment system, the uh, the headphones. So we have a Har Harman Kardon surround sound system in here. Here's the windows, burl walnut trim. I, li I actually like this trim a lot nicer than the, uh, I think the other one was like the, the black trim or something like that, like the Burl Walnut. Um, chrome handlebars, standard, more speakers here. So coming into the actual vehicle, here's the entertainment. We have the built-in TVs on the back of the heads of the seats. Here is a, here's one of the uh, headphones that they give you. They're actually really comfortable. I like them. Fit in your ear, and you could actually switch it to the right of the left TV. Say you want to watch SpongeBob over there, you just switch it to left, 
and then you want to watch Harry Potter, you could watch it by just switching it to right, which is really neat. So just hang this back up. Right down here, this is where you would actually put in your movie. Um, and I don't know what you'd plug in here, maybe a Blu-ray player, because this car doesn't support Blu-ray. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. Right here would be our three-zone climate control, but we didn't get that, so it's just blank. And here's our rear vents. Okay, so next thing, we have uh, our rear seats, so I'm going to go ahead and put this seat down. By the way, uh, these do actually go all the way down. I'm going to have to use one hand and try my best to get it down there. But, uh, yeah, the center console is very simple. Comes down, three cup holders, pretty nice. And these seats are very comfortable. This isn't even the leather. This is the uh, MB Tex, I guess that's what they call it. Um, the non version of leather. So it's not the real leather, it's a different type. And I was reading up about what this material is made of. This is actually made of coconut, so it's it's pretty cool material. Next we have our seat belt for the middle. They integrated it right into these seats. So let's go ahead and flip this down. One and two. That's what it looks like. So coming back here, we have two little buttons on the left to control the seats. And uh, right back there, if you see it, we have uh, two speakers, one on the right and one on the left for the surround sound. These windows back here do tint out, so um, the, the person in the front driving can control them and make them come out. So... I am all the way back in the seat, and I have a good, what is that, three, four inches between my leg and that. Now, I put my legs forward, and I still get more room, and I'm about 5'8", so you have a lot of room back here. Uh, we have two cup holders, one on each side, uh, as well as vents for air conditioning or heat. We also have a moon roof, which is manually operated if you want to close it or open it. Pretty nice. Here are our LEDs. Very nice. And it's bright out right now. It's around 7 o'clock here. And uh, you really can't see them that well, but at nighttime it'll light up the whole entire driveway. They're really nice. So coming into the front, we have memory and power adjustable seat. So here's our vent, nice chrome surrounding it. Um, your airbags right up there, nice, nicely stitched. Um, up here, here's our moon roof. And coming in here, let's go to the glove compartment. It's very messy. But um, something I wanted to show you was this. This is your uh, Distronic Plus, and basically you're able to plug in any iPhone, iPod, or whatever, whatever's compatible with it. Um, into here, and it will charge it or play your music up on the nav screen. We have a small cup holder and a large cup holder with more burl walnut trim coming around. Here's our nav screen. I'll get to that in a second. We have a center console. We've got tissues in there right now, but um, it's coated once again in like that velvet feel. And we have our two emergency buttons. One's for a mechanic, uh, and one's for embrace. Basically, you'd press that and. Embrace would connect, which is almost like OnStar. You can get directions sent right to your nav screen. Makes it very easy for long distance travel. Down here, just got a ashtray. Just another little area, a little tray. Got our wipes in there. So we have our hazards here. We've got our aromatic, which is located right here. And also we have our heated seats on, all, on both sides. Like I said before, Airmatic will basically lower or make your vehicle go higher up 9 inches above uh, the ground, so it's pretty neat. Um, here's your uphill control, downhill control. Um, this is traction control. Uh, it's a turnstile for your climate. Takes about a second to warm up. Alright, so it's currently connected to uh, our iPhone. It's because it's Bluetooth. And it's, uh, I believe, on Sirius XM. Um, here's your nav. Pretty neat. And over here we have more memory seats. On the left side, we've got our 
tailgate release. So you just click this button. Whoops, why is it not going? There we go. Just needed more pressure, and the tailgate opens right up. So, more features are your rear view, or your rear windows, which are those. They'll actually tint out like I showed you before. This is to control them. We've got a triad lock for the windows, all the windows controls, and we also have our side mirrors to tint them in. If you want to pull into a parking space or your garage, as well as your... Uh, your adjusting of the mirrors with this button here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop the lid or the hood and I'll get to that in a second but um, here is your parking, your emergency parking brake and here are your lights and I'll activate those in a second and we're gonna go ahead and get in the driver's seat and here is your nice steering wheel I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in the ignition so we got the heated steering wheel and uh, that's the reason why you don't see any burl walnut trim on it we got the heated steering wheel um, but it's it's actually really nice I like this aluminum on the sides here and uh, it keeps your hands really warm in the winter time we have some more controls here for your screen up front you can actually flip through Messages such as traffic updates that you've set it to um, send to you. And there's our rear view mirror. Pretty cool. But we're going to pop the hood and check it out on the inside. So, voila, there it is. It's a V8. This thing is an extremely powerful car. Mercedes has their AMG line helping them out when they're building vehicles like this. So I'm not quite sure what the towing capacity is. I'm go over to the back. More LEDs are located inside of the tails, the tail lights. So I believe that that pretty much concludes my whole in-depth tour and review of this brand new 2012 Mercedes-Benz. Um, I'd like for you guys to please comment, rate, and subscribe for more awesome videos reviews and whatnot. Um, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe. This has been Brandon with a car review. This is going to be my first car review. I have a Cadillac CTS sedan coming soon. So if you rate and comment this video, I will upload that ASAP. Thank you very much, guys. Mm -hmm.